Howdy to you are everyone. I'm Dan. How are you doing today? I hope you're having a lovely day wherever you're watching this from, I'll tell you that. And cheers for finding me video today. I appreciate that. It's Saturday morning. I'm going to hospital. It's over there somewhere. So let's have a walk and a chat about healthcare in Japan. <laughs> Safe, let's get going. So as I said, you join me outside. Kasatsu Station, it's magical. And it's a fucking beautiful day where it's just pissing it down. Let's see what we've got around here. We've got a weird bridge gate thing leading to the station. Cool, there's a rock. Not the rock, a rock. And some kind of tree, that's nice I guess. Over here we've got a mall called Litty 932. Uh, looks like it's got a supermarket built in and another supermarket over there. Hey Wado. Nice little shelter. I should have really gone under that shelter, shouldn't I really? Now I'm thinking about it. And over here, we've got Kintetsu Department Store. And we've got a nice rock with some kanji on it. Cool, I guess. It's raining, it's rainy season. Plenty of people kicking about with umbrellas, but not me. Too English for that. But let's have a wander to hospital. And you might be thinking, Dan, why are you going to hospital? Because recently I've had some problems with my heart. It's on its arse, uh, for want of a better term. Here we go, look, what's this way? Loads of things I don't care about, but it's that way. And yeah, my heart's on its arse. Got an irregular heartbeat thing that's going on. So come here for some tests last week and you know i had to wear art monitor thing again and blood tests and piss tests and whatever other fucking tests maths tests probably um that i had to do and we'll get some results today um so here we are we're walking to garden city kusatsu apparently so this this is a bit inside inside way so it's not so bad oh dear what's down here Let's have a look. Looks like we've got some restaurants. It's noisy, isn't it? And a supermarket, a bit look at it. Yeah, it's a supermarket in there, look, you can see. A uh, restaurant, looks like sober or something. And a champon restaurant, which is like it's like noodle soup thing like that. Looks delish, but we ain't got time for that today. Ain't nobody got time for that. Although they do have tempura, which I like. Anyway, it's fucking pissing it down. So we're gonna try and stick under under building as much as we can. All right, a Lotteria. Lotteria is like Mickey D's for Japan, even though Japan has got Mickey D's. Riddle me that, I don't know. I do not know it, friend. We can kind of, kind of be inside, a little bit, not so bad. And we're walking to hospital. So this week then, what's gone on this week? Oh, ah, Indian restaurant, Namaste Taj Mahal. That is the most typical name for an Indian restaurant I've ever seen. Good job with naming committee there. And what, what is this place? We've got a supermarket over there. Hey, Wado. <laughs> Some people waving at me in the window. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't expect that. That's kind of cool. Some izakayas and that. Hot yoga. Hot yoga is yoga in a sauna. That's a thing. And that's up there. Hot yoga. Oh, no, it's okay. So that guy's had that. I don't know. Yes, yeah, so what's going on this week? Rainy season's come. That's first thing. If you don't know about Japan, it's definitely got five seasons of rainy seasons, one of them. Oh, I know that. Oh, wow. Bloody hell. They're everywhere. Um, yeah, rainy season's here. That's why it's pissing it down in the middle of June. Oh, cool. Nice little statue of somebody having a kip. Safe. So rainy season's here. So for the next few days, it's going to be rainy, but it's humid, man. Humid. That's the thing. Mushiatsu. And I don't like humid weather. I don't like much weather, to be honest, unless it's cold. That I don't mind, but I'll still whinge. But cold's the best one. And yeah, 
so that's going to be raining for the next few weeks. Just everyday rain. Looks like England, I guess. Oh, ah, this one's a statue of somebody, like, got a headache or something. Have a paracetamol, shut the fuck up, will you? Good stuff. Um, what else happened this week? Started watching Taskmaster again. Taskmaster's sick. If you're a fan of Taskmaster, you'll know what I mean. If you don't know what Taskmaster is, Google's your friend. So, do that. Oh, huh? Look at this beast. That's a big tower. That's a big old tower, that. And it's called Tower 111. <laughs> it's like on video games, isn't it? Like, when someone's took your username, so you bang a one on end. And then somebody else has took that, so you keep banging ones on end until it says it's all right. And you end up with a building called Tower 111. I've got a convenience store over here. Good old family mark. Do, 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 do. Yes, but we're not bothered about convenience stores today. We're not bothered about towers called Tower 111 today. We're going to the doctors. Um, yeah. So, healthcare in Japan. Let's have a bit of a, a chatteroonie about that. First of all, it's not like England. It's not NHS. There's no NHS. But it's... You get, like, health insurance, like, national health insurance. And the way this kind of works is you pay each month. Either your company pays or you pay personally, depending on your situation. It's like, kokumin kenko hoken or shakai hoken or some shit, some hoken. Hoken means insurance. And there's some kind of insurance. This must be a new build. There's a lot of builders about. I know, yeah, a lot of people doing work in these shops. Cool. New build ting. And yeah, so you get healthcare. And my healthcare cost me about 25,000 yen a month. And that in English is what? About just over 200 quid, just less than 200 quid maybe. So yeah, I've got pay that each month. And that entitles me to 70% off all healthcare that I pay for. That is raining. Oh, that looks like a swanky building, doesn't it? Must, be, must have some money to live there. And this lad's doing some moving. So, yeah, 200 quid a month for my healthcare. And that gets me a, my health insurance card, which entitles me to 70% off of any healthcare, like dentist and shit like that. And that's how this basic system is designed to work. Um, yeah, so in terms of money, that's how it goes. When you go to these clinics or hospital or whatever, you have to pay at the point of delivery. And yeah, some places accept cards, like credit cards and stuff. Some don't. It's a bit of a mystery. And sometimes you don't really know how expensive it's going to be until you get to end. Which can be a bit of a ball like, what's this place? Kyoto Bay Tayaki. Okay. Looks like Taki. I don't know. Some kind of... Okonomiyaki shop, looks nice. Yeah, you don't really know how much it's going to be until you get to end. Oh, there's a big shrine up here. Let's have a look up here. Hey, rain. Snack bar, Linda. Linda, Linda. Look at this. Yeah, you don't know how much it's going to be. <laughs> Sorry, I'm walking around. It's all a bit new, so I'm losing my train of thought. Pretty easily. Oh, look at that. It's nice, isn't it? Just a random side street. I've got a big bell. Sick. And healthcare is pretty good. I mean, it's like England. It's like Monday to Friday is your best bet um, to see what you need to see. But this one I'm going to today has got Saturday mornings, which is good. So I can actually go without trying to take time off work, which is nice. Do you know Tanukiyaki? No, I don't. Who's that? Oh, it's definitely raining. And yeah, you're good to see your doctor. It's, you know, it's a, you can find English speaking doctors, but it's hard work. It is proper hard work. This is the thing in Japan that I love. Plastic food outside restaurants so you can see what it looks like. 
that's probably been here about 20 years. There's a lot of dust on that. The passage with a camera for crime prevention. Are we now? Having a crime prevention, are we? Oh, I love the name of this restaurant up here. Bam Bam Bigelow. If you know about wrestling in 80s and 90s, you might have heard of Bam Bam Bigelow. But in Japan, it's called Bam Bam Bigelow. And that's his restaurant. <laughs> I don't know, it just looks like an Italian place. Oh, I don't know. I do not know it. Anyway, healthcare. You've got loads of clinics, loads of dentists, loads of private clinics and that. You can get English speaking places in like bigger cities and that, but out uh, here it's a bit more hard work. It's not that easy to do. So, I have to deal with Japanese and trying to explain shit in Japanese is not easy. So, I struggle with that. But I get by, I can just about do it. Sign here, showing some old school stuff. Nice, I guess. I'm on some kind of shopping arcade now, so it's not as rainy, which is nice. Um, yeah, dealing with doctors in Japanese, medical words is hard, um, and they rarely speak, even if it says like online, or they speak English, usually they can say hello and that. So if you really are stuck, and you really need English doctors, big cities are your best bet. Sometimes you'll strike it, look, oh, there's another temple down here. Sometimes you'll strike it lucky and find an English speaking doctor, but I won't bank on it, is what I'm saying. I would not bank on it. So then you go, usually, good thing is you can kind of do everything in one place a lot of time. Like this clinic last week, we're able to do a e ECG, KG, whatever they're called, art, art scan. They were able to do blood tests, they are able to do piss tests, they are able to do art monitors and all, everything they needed to do, they could do in one place. Like in England, you seem to get sent around houses. And that doesn't really happen here, so that's kind of good. I like that part. And pretty efficient, in and out, as best they can. Healthcare quality is pretty good. Uh, in Japan, you can buy a lot of drugs straight from drugstore, from pharmacies and that. But they're not so strong. If you need strong stuff, you need to go to hospital. So that's why people go to doctors for a cold in Japan, because, you know, oh, why is this a shrine? Is it someone's house? That part's a shrine. That part's someone's house. Do they own that? I don't know if I want to go inside now. Nah. I'm going to have a walk around and a look, but I don't think I will. Looks good though, doesn't it? Yeah, you can buy drugs from a drugstore, but if you want a oh, worthwhile, you have to go to a pharmacy. Go, go down Lloyd's Chemist or something. And that's what it is. Um, yeah. And then. One thing that annoys me in Japan though, because like, it's not national healthcare, they obviously get paid money, don't they? That's why insurance exists. So sometimes, especially dentists, they'll try and work over as many different occasions as possible. Like for one tooth, I end up going to dentists like 12 times. Just cause like each time I went, they could charge me more money. One of the times I went, he just literally looked at his mouth and went, yeah, that looks all right, come back next week. I'm like you fucking what? So that's the thing. Oh, I'm proper wet. Not in a good way. Um, yeah, I'm nearly at hospital though now. So yeah, they might, especially if you're foreign and you don't really know the system, they might try and take advantage of that a bit to get more money. But everyone's trying to get more skrilla, aren't they? It's a statue here. What are you saying? Why are you here? I like your dungarees. Um, yes, yeah, so they might try and take advantage of you for that. And when you get sick in Japan, your company quite often will ask for something called as a Shindan Show. I think it's called a Shindan Show. And it's basically a certificate from your doctor saying you, it's like a doctor's note. But even if you like, you're back at work already, they'll want a doctor's note. And they'll charge you for it. Uh, so maybe you'll have to ask for a Shindan Show. I'm pretty sure it's called a Shindan Show. Uh, yeah, so be aware of that and all. And yeah, other than that, my experience in Japan healthcare has been pretty straightforward. Been pretty straightforward. And not much more to add at this point. What's down here? I've never been down here. Just showing you around on a rainy day basically now. Nah.
just for your entertainment. Oh, I'm Pan Man. Damn Pan Man restaurant here, look. What is going on here? It's a bakery, I think. A damn Pan Man on it. I'm trying to think if there's all else I want to talk about healthcare in Japan. Other than that, like you go and they see you and give you a prescription, you take it to you know pharmacy and that's that. Pay at point of service. And they might try and make you go more than once for the same thing. Um, because they get more money that way. But other than that, it seems pretty straightforward. Healthcare you can use in a lot of places you wouldn't think. Healthcare covers you for hospitals and doctors. Also covers you for dentists and even things like massages sometimes, like bone, what are they call chiropractors and that. Because everything's segregated. And there's so many dentists and doctors in Japan. Because they're private businesses, so. I even read somewhere once, look at this. Cigarette vending machines. I even read somewhere that like, there's more dentists in Japan than convenience stores. Oh, cool. I've never been down here, I don't know what's down here. It's a bridge. <laughs> this is a, look at this little sign, I like this. This little girl beeling about medicine. Very good, very nice. But yeah, healthcare in Japan. Um, you need to get national health insurance. It need, if your company doesn't supply it for you, you've got to get it for yourself. It's the law. Don't want Judge Dredd rocking up. You are here. How does it know? How does it know I didn't turn left earlier? Wonderful. I want to see what's up here. That's a lot of steps though, isn't it? Don't fancy it. Bohan no much. I'm just kind of walking around now. Now look what's under this bridge and then I'm done. Some nice little pictures in this bridge. It's kind of cool, I guess. But yeah, we should probably wrap it up. So, hopefully you can see my face. Of course, next week, once I've got my test results and whatever else, I'll let you know what's going on when we have another walk around a different place and have a chat about some other things. But it's raining. I've got to go to the hospital now. I've walked past it for the sake of the video. And I've got to go and sort my life out. So, <laughs> cheers for watching. And as always, until next time. Jamata! That's it for today's video. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to leave a comment below and bang a thumbs up on this video. While you're at it, you may as well smash that subscribe button and ring that bell and you won't miss a thing. And there's plenty more videos like this one. There's one here and one here. Maybe you'll see something you like. All my videos are supported by the Jadan fam on Patreon. You guys are awesome. And as always, until next time. Jamata.